wine virgin team and I've dragged along my friend Laura <laughs> to taste some wines with me. Hi. <laughs> Um, so we work with a few wineries here at Wine Virgin and one of our partner wineries, um, Pillitary Estates, has been so kind to gift us some wine and it's not the best Sunday outside today so we figured why not taste some wines on a Sunday afternoon, right? Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> um, okay, so the first wine we have here is from the Pillitary Market Collection and this is a 2020 Vidal Light which I believe is meant to be more of like a table wine kind of style. And the second wine they've given us so kindly is their 2016 Cab Sav, um, which is a dry red wine. So we're gonna start with the Vidal, I think, and then work our way to the Cab. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good to me. Cool. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna start off with this Vidal Light. So let me pour you some here. Don't feel pressured to drink it all. All right. Shall we give it a taste? Yep. Okay. Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> mm. That's really good. That is good. It's smooth. Mm. I definitely understand the light and the Vidal light. That's really good. What would you drink? What would you eat that with? Um, I'd probably do this with like salads or like noodles, like pad thai so or good. something would be really good I think with it. I definitely think it's like the light really sums it up and it's only 9% alcohol. So it's definitely something that you can sip on all day and not really get sick of it. Eh? Yeah, like you can have more of it without feeling drunk. <laughs> or yeah, feeling it, you know, you get to have more tasty wine. That is so good. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. A little bit fruity. And the other thing I like about drinking a wine like this is that I feel like it makes it way more approachable than like anything else. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it doesn't have to be a whole event to like crack a bottle of wine with your friends and like sit down and enjoy it's just like so mm -hmm. easy you know yeah and it's a screw top so even better no one has to watch you struggle <laughs> <laughs> okay so we enjoyed a bit more of that Vidal and I think we both thought it was oh, quite it was phenomenal great. yeah, yeah. um <laughs> great <laughs> so I think now we're gonna go into this sap um I've opened it up for us let it breathe a little while so let me pour you a glass I like that you know to swirl it already. Yeah, like you know, the air rating's good for the wine, but it's also really fun. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the important part. <laughs> okay, cheers. 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 Oh, first of all, that color, beautiful. Mm, it is a very nice color, almost crimson. Wow. Mm, spicy. It is a little spicy, eh? Mm-hmm. It is quite dry. I really like that. Yeah. I'm not a huge red wine drinker, I should probably say, but I would drink this. I think this is a great wine going into like fall and winter. Mm. It's very warm. It's like warm, but not overpowering. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I definitely still call it like a medium. Oh, absolutely. It's not heavy or anything. This would go so well. Like, Laura and I went to the food market or a food truck. Yeah, food trucks food trucks before this and this would go would have gone so well with like a brisket there or something like that like mm -hmm. something like yeah rich and delicious yeah. kind of fatty actually um recently you might have seen on the wine version social media or i'll be posting about it soon anyway um i got to go to the pillitary estates winery and do a little tour and had a little tasting with one of the guys there um jared he was awesome little shout out mm -hmm. and he was telling me actually that there's like a chemical reaction that happens in your mouth when you're eating like a fatty meat, like a steak, and then you have a red wine, mm -hmm. the tannins actually like help soften the flavors in your mouth and then you get like a better flavor profile of the steak. Mm. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, that's super interesting. Isn't it? I had no idea. Right? 
Wine can be fun. Science. <laughs> We had some more of the wine. I think we've also decided that we're gonna go eat some chocolate now because it tastes like it would do very well with some chocolate. <laughs> so cheers to Laura for coming and tasting some wine with me. Um, we just wanted to kind of show that, you know, tasting wine can be fun. It's an afternoon activity. It is, it's a, it's a general afternoon activity. And I think, you know, um, thanks to Pilateri for giving us the wines to sample. And it was just such a great thing to do on a Sunday afternoon when there's, you know, you can't be outside. Um, and I just wanted to also mention that both of these wines are BQA wines. Um, so I'm not sure if you know that BQA, um, it's an Ontario kind of brand or it's an independent body in Ontario. It's the Vintners Quality Alliance. Um, and they kind of are the governing body in Ontario, um, to make sure that all of these wines pass strict quality standards and they're all 100% Ontario bone grapes. So thanks to Pilateri. Um, if you're ever in the Niagara area, they're a great visit. Um, I did a tour the other day and it was phenomenal. So Thank you so much, Philateri, and thanks, Laura, for today. Thank you. Awesome. Cheers, guys.